Welcome to the demonstration video of ContinuaProva. In this video, we will show you how to use ContinuaProva for automated functional testing of embedded systems. The main feature of ContinuaProva is that it integrates various tools for testing during development. With ContinuaProva, you will be able to link different testing and development tools, such as tools for hardware control, bus simulation tools, debugger, or monitoring tools. It makes testing automated with the capability to develop and customize your testing environment as per your need. ContinuaProva also supports a variety of tools. You have different services for different tools and functions supporting it, such as MATLAB, LabVIEW, etc. ContinuaProva consists of two components, ContinuaProva Server and ContinuaProva Client. To get started, we need to start the server and then the client. So first, we open the server by double-clicking the Server icon. This is the ContinuaProva server window. Let's start the server by clicking on the Start button. We see the message displayed right here that the server is running and services have been loaded. After the server is running, let's now start the client by double-clicking the Client icon. This is the standard default view of the client. Let's get started with our example. We will open an already prepared test specification. On the left, we have a test case explorer. This has a tree-like structure starting from the test specification, which is the head of our tree. Then it has test groups and test sequences, which contain test steps to perform individual events which comprise the roots of the tree. If we select a test element, the top right window will show detailed information. In the output window, all actions are logged. Currently, we haven't done any tests yet, but we can see that we are connected to the server. The position of the windows can be changed by drag and drop as per your need. Our test example will test the warning lights of emergency brake assist by interpreting the vehicle speed. The system detects if an emergency stop is needed and activates the emergency blinking. Our test object is an electronic control unit on which the software of the emergency brake assist is running. The test environment consists of an oscilloscope, CAN bus simulator, relays for setting and reading analogous signals linked to the testing platform ContinuaProva. As you can see, we have three test cases. Now, by double-clicking, we expand the test case 2, which tests the emergency brake assist automatically. The test case consists of two test sequences, init and test sequence, which is relevant for the functional testing. The first test sequence init initializes the devices connected to ContinuaProva and needed for the test. And this is the test sequence which tests the functional requirements of our example. Let's dig into some test steps. A test step consists of test tasks. When editing a test task, all available services are displayed in the drop-down list. Depending on the service selected, you can choose from the operations available for that service. In this test task, we want to read a text file which contains a vector with pairs of time and velocity. Looking at the following test steps, we see that the left indicators are activated. The velocity vector is executed. In the test, we want to verify that the emergency blinking was activated correctly by measuring the blinking frequency and comparing the value to the expected value of 5 kHz. In addition to that functional test of the activation of emergency blinking, 
we want to execute a priority test. Therefore, we test whether the blinking frequency is set back to 1 kHz after 5 seconds. Now we start the test by play button, or from the test execution menu. We can see here that the execution is running, indicated by the green arrow. In the output window, all actions are logged. At the same time, the actions are visible at our test environment. Here you can see that we are currently proving whether the emergency blinking was activated by measuring the blinking frequency of the right indicator. To see if the indicators are set back to the normal left blinking mode, the left indicator is measured. The test is completely executed and finished. Test results are summarized in the test report. This can be opened from the Tools Show Report menu. The structure of the test is displayed as a tree. Use the tree to navigate through the report and to see the test result. Thank you for your interest in Continuo Prova. For more information, or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us.